took on, and that's the one about this little guy here, Darren Gauchi. Now, what do you say about Darren Gauchi? Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Right on cue, Gats. Well done. Um, I remember being at the races in the early 80s at uh, Seymour, uh, calling for 3UZ, and Ray Lawson had a horse running in this particular race uh, called New Act. I remember it was owned by Shelley Hancocks and the White and uh, Cerise Quarters. And this kid rode, claiming three kilos at Seymour on a Saturday, punched this horse out, and I remember looking at him and thinking, he's different to the others. He's so different to the others because of that, that style, that crouch, down in the saddle, the aerodynamics that was, was sort, of, sort of gifted to him. And just talking to the hard nuts of racing and a great friend of mine at the time who's since gone to the big race course in the sky, Kevin Curtin. I remember saying to Kev over 100 beers one night, who's this kid Gauchi? He said, my son, he said, he's the best apprentice I've seen in probably the last 30 years. So we knew about him and the hard nuts were all putting this fantastic rap on him. When I say the hard nuts, guys like Kevin Curtin and Kelly Chapman and Meg Elkington and the Caulfield clan, that's where the kid was based. This is the kid that had come from Glen Roy, uh, the Maltese Falcon, they were starting to call him. <laughs> no mechanical horses then to, uh, to learn his skill. He rode on a chaff bag, on a chaff bag for an hour, an hour and a half every day. And you know, he's never beaten on that chaff bag, never beaten. <laughs> That's where he, he learned his craft. At the same time, he had a great mentor and one of the best to ever ride in Roy Higgins, who was a great friend to all in racing and in my, my opinion, the best jockey I've ever seen.